we got that the bull that had hacked me when he was two days old. Uh, we raised him. I had went and got hay that day. What happened next would change Caleb's life forever. Caleb pushed the hay bale in there. Cash just kind of puts his head down, and I mean, like the snap of a finger darts right into his stomach. And he picked me up, and I went up in the air, and I was sideways, uh, and he still put his head right here and smashed me into the tree. He was taken into emergency surgery at a nearby hospital. His intestines were crushed, and he was suffering from internal bleeding. Never in a million years would I have thought that my intestines were, you know, uh, Shot. just completely ruined. Caleb was flown to Cleveland Clinic and considered for an intestine transplant. If there's anything wrong with the intestine, there could be significant issues with um, maintaining that balance of fluid, electrolytes, and nutrition. He had nothing. I mean, he had only his stomach um, to about uh, 10 centimeters of his uh, duodenum. So there's no way he could be eating anything. That was just not possible. About three months after the accident, Caleb was put on the transplant waiting list. He and his family, including his newborn son, moved to Cleveland to wait. Mr. Brooks, we're having an intestine for you. Like, this is a perfect match for you. After 10 hours in the OR, Caleb had new intestines. Being young and healthy, he recovered quickly and returned home to Alabama about a month after surgery.